Welcome to my second video. So here I have a recurrence relation. We're just saying that the n plus 1th term is proportional to the nth term with proportionality constant r. And we want to use the guess method to uh, figure out what the solution is. So what, what you can do is you can just look at what would the first term be. So this would be the case when n is equal to 0. If n is equal to 0, we have f1 is going to be equal to r times f0. And then I can just look at what's the next term. Well, now so we're thinking of n as being 1, so this would be f2 is equal to r times f1. So it's r times f1. Here, I'm instead of writing f1, I'm just going to write this, since this is f1. So r times r f0 is just r squared f0. And then we can just look at the next term and see if we see a pattern here. So it's still going to be r times the previous term. So it's just going to be r cubed f0. And so the pattern becomes pretty clear pretty fast. Um, you can just guess what the pattern is going to be for the nth term. And then that's your answer, basically. Um, so it's pretty. It's a pretty simple technique. Um, if you want to prove that your answer is correct, we also have a method for doing that, and that's called induction. Um, so if you're already familiar with induction, I think you could probably figure the rest out from here. If you're not, I'll just walk through how to do this. So um, what we can do is we can call this statement p of n. So we're thinking of this entire equation here as a statement that could be either true or false. And so we know that p, p1 is true. And we know that because when we plug in 1, f of 1, this is equal to r times f of 0, which matches this form. This is r to the 1 times f of 0. So now what we want to do is we want to suppose that there is a certain n for which this statement is true and so we'll call that uh, we'll, we'll call that value k so suppose p of k is true for some k and this is an okay thing to assume because we already know the first one is true and we're just saying well what will happen if one of them is true so what we're assuming is that fk is equal to r to the k f0, just going off of this definition here of p of n. So now what we want to do is we want to show that the statement p of k implies the statement p of k plus 1. So we can look at what, what would be the k plus 1th term of the sequence. So we can use our original definition here of the recurrence relation, and this would just be r times the kth term. Um, and we're supposing that the kth term is equal to r to the k f0. So I can just plug that in here. Whoops. r to the k f0. And you can see, simplifying, that this is just r to the k plus 1 f0. So we showed that supposing that fk is equal to r to the k f0 implies that f to the k plus 1 is equal to r to the k plus 1 f0. So in other words, the statement pk implies the statement pk plus 1. And since the since p of 1 was true, that means that p of 2 must be true by this statement here, which means then p of so p of 1, p of 2, p of 3 so, in other words, p of n must be true for all n. And this is the method of, I guess you could call this inspection and induction. Or you could just call it guessing and then proving that you're right.